Check this out guys, the latest collection of Jurassic World Dominion Captive X minifigures. I'm super excited guys. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. So today we'll be taking a look at this entire collection, okay? I'm so excited, you know, let's get right into it. Yes, so let's review the latest Jurassic World Dominion Toy Monster Captive X entire collection. This is the box which looks really good. It is similar to what we have previously unboxed from the Jurassic World Dominion box. You have Rexy right over here, Pyroraptor right over here, Blue and Beta. On both sides, you can actually find a beautiful Jurassic World Dominion Amber logo, okay? Looks really good, okay? On the other side, you can just find a Toy Monster logo and a plain black background. So let's open this up right now. Alright, so you can see it has a beautiful, you know, similar imagery as the one on the cover and it comes with a beautiful postcard as well. Alright, this is fantastic. I'm definitely going to be um, displaying this in my shelf. Next, we also have a gigantic egg right over here, a slightly smaller egg and the um oh we have three small little eggs right over here and the entire collection in case that we don't get all the figures inside you know this collection so i'm so excited guys so let's begin with opening up one of this small little eggs first before we move on to the bigger ones okay so let's proceed with this one right here so let's open up one of this all you need to do is basically just to peel off um, this sleeve, okay, like this. Alright, there is another covering for you to remove as well, so let's do it. Let's peel off the, um, the covering on the inside. It can be done quite easily, as you guys can see. It's much easier to open them up as compared to the um, previous version. So I've actually prepared a container to hold on to the slime because it can get pretty messy. So let's open this up. Oh, nice. They've actually separated the slime and the figure. That's really cool. All right, so let's put this right over here. Let's put the, the egg shells aside. Um, let's open up the slime first. So what does it say? Bio scene slime. I'm not too sure whether there are any um, figures inside, but let's cut this open with my pair of um, scissors. Let's see what's inside this slime. Is it like amber color or is it like you know turquoise color? I think it's gonna look really cool. I really love how they have actually you know packed the slime separately because you know previously I had a hard time trying to um, unbox unbox it. And this time the slime actually feels much cleaner as well. It's not as sticky as the, the previous one, so it's definitely better. All right, let's move on and take a look. Wow, so this slime is actually it's looking pretty good. It's like shiny with some metallic um, shine inside. All right, so let's open this up. Let's see what is actually inside this. Okay, comes with a checklist. Let's check out all the different species that we can get from this set. Okay, so you have a limited edition Giganotosaurus, the you know the normal version, Parasaurolophus, the Lophosaurus, T-Rex, and Calosaurus, Atrociraptor, Ghost, Mosasaurus, Spinosaurus, Conotaurus, Stegi, Therizinosaurus, Atrociraptor, Tiger. Ultra rare Pyroraptor. So I guess we will be hoping to get the um ultra rare Pyroraptor. Wow, of course, it also has the um Baryonyx, Ambo Pyroraptor, Metallic Aqua Therizinosaurus, and Metallic Green Spinosaurus. Wow. So I think in this series you are getting a lot more metallic figures. So let's see what is our first figure inside this pack right here. Oh I think we have got the Ankylosaurus. So I think it should be a um, similar figure to the um, previous Clash Edition Ankylosaurus, just with a different paint work. I think this paint work definitely looks nicer. All right, Ankylosaurus, let's see. 
what are the effects right here. So it basically comes with the killer rating as well. So the Ankylosaurus actually has a killer rating of 8 and intelligence of 4. Of course, some facts about the Ankylosaurus. Okay, we have a new version of this um, fact card right over here. So let's move on and open up our next one, okay? So this is basically our second act of the day. Let's open up one at one of this before we proceed on with the um, medium size egg. So let's peel this open. I think it's actually much easier to open um, than the uh, previous egg, which is a good thing. So let's open this up. Okay, so here's the figure and here is the slime. I'm, interest I'm interested to see whether the slime is actually in a different color. So let's open this up. Seems like we have the same blue colored slime. And this time the slime is definitely much easier for, for you to handle. You can see it doesn't really stick to my hands that much anymore. So that is pretty cool. All right, let me just pull out all the slime first. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of fun, but I, I mean, to be really honest, I'm more interested in the figure than the slime. Okay, I think kids will definitely love the slime for sure. Let's open this up. Hopefully, we can get the metallic version. I think the one that I really want is um, the Therizinosaurus metallic version. Of course, the Giga. So let's see what is inside this box. I mean, that we have a similar checklist. Let me just put this aside. All right, I'm trying to close my eyes and um, have a surprise. Oh, cool. We have a Dilophosaurus, which is also a repainted version because we already have the previous Dilophosaurus. I think this is a new repaint. Let me see whether I'm able to find the previous Dilophosaurus to do a very quick comparison. Yeah, this is the previous one from the Clash edition. I think this one definitely looks um, great as well. So let me put them over here. Okay, I think this figure is having some issues standing. Oh, okay, I think that's fine. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let me try to see whether it can still stand. Um, maybe not. Let's just put it lying down. You take a rest first, okay, Dilophosaurus. Let's have a look at this one. I'm actually pretty excited to see what's inside this uh, medium-sized egg. Dig through prehistoric sand, amber gel, and bio Biocene slime to find super sized mystery dinosaur. So let's open this up. Let's peel this open. I think I need to use a pair of scissors to cut this open. Okay, I've made a small little cut right here. So we can just tear this off. I'm not too sure whether there will be like different mystery dinosaurs from the medium sized egg, or is there like only one? If there are different ones, I think that would be really cool. Okay, wow. So it comes with plenty of good stuff. Um, the first item is actually like a set of stickers where you can see different dinosaurs. I think that's cool. Let's put this aside. We have the bio slime inside. Oh, it actually contains a figure. What is this? This is like a sand, prehistoric sand. And um, oh, what is this? A little cut and um, grid A Ambo, wow. So basically you can find different parts of the dinosaurs inside this, you know, small little bag. So let's open them up. Let's open up the slime. Let's pour the slime into this one right here. So that is the body of a, I think this is the body of a Baryonyx if I'm not wrong. The slime in this um, pack is definitely Stickier, as you guys can see, is way stickier. Yeah, definitely. I, I think I need to pause the video and um, clean my hands first. All right. Okay, the body of the um, Baryonyx is actually out. It's really nice, I must say. It's a huge figure. Wow, this is looking very, very awesome. Next up, let's open up this prehistoric sand. I think this is like a um, kind of like kinetic sand. I'm, I'm not too sure. So let's open this up. Well, let me just try to touch this. It's kind of sticky. So let's get the arm um, head out. This is actually the head. I think there's only one head inside. So yeah, I think we can just move this aside. Let me clean this up as well. 
Okay, now the head is actually out. So it's time for us to open this up as well. This is another box of slime and gas. So let's open this. Hopefully it's not those kind of a really sticky slime. I think it is. So let's get this. Oh, this is actually like very jelly-like. It's really like hot ambo. It's very cool to be honest. Okay, I, I like this better than the um, slime. This is like jelly. <laughs> really cool. Okay, and it smells good. Yeah, it smells really good as well. So this is the tail. So I think we just need to clean this up and we can assemble the figure. All right, I think it's time for us to actually assemble this really beautiful baryonyx. This is actually a large size baryonyx. So let's pop in the tail. This figure, it's looking really, really fantastic. I've never seen such a beautiful and detailed, you know, medium-sized figure before. And this is definitely a super cool looking. Wow, I think right now, the um, dilemma for, for me will be, you know, where should we display this? Should we display this in our mini shelf? I think it's a li little bit too big for the mini shelf. Um, let's do a quick comparison with the previous Baryonyx from um, Captive as well. So this is Baryonyx Grim, but this one seems to be the uh, new Baryonyx from Dominion, which comes with an, um, you know, a mechanical arm. Um, yeah, looks really good. So I really love this figure. I'm not too sure whether we'll be getting other, you know, medium-sized dinosaurs from this egg. I think if we do, that will be really fantastic. So next, um, I think what we need to do is basically for us to open up um, the big one right here, this gigantic egg. Oh, wait a minute. We haven't opened this little sleeve. Hopefully we are able to find other dinosaurs, you know, in the checklist inside. Who knows? Let's open this up. So it comes with a checklist checklist for the medium size egg. Let's open this up. More pop and lock dinosaurs inside coming soon. So let's see. Wow, okay, okay, that is cool. So yeah, there are more for us to collect. Pyro, Raptor, and Geekonoptosaurus. I'll be looking forward to get this too, okay? I'll be getting more of this eggs to, you know, to have the entire set for you guys, okay? So this is basically Baryonyx mechanical arm. Nice, very nice. Killer rating of um, 7. Okay, is it 7? Yeah, 7. Intelligence of 6. Very nice. Let me put this right over here. I think this figure of mine, it is not able to... Oh, it is able to stand. But not very, very firmly. So we have to be really careful. I love this. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to get the uh, entire set. If we are able to. Okay, let me just put this line down. Let's open up this huge one, which is the, uh, the most exciting one. So it actually includes one collector's guide, one playmat, one backpack clip, three battle tokens, two metallic slime, two dino eggs, one mystery zoom riders. So let's open this up. I know you guys must be, come on Dan, just open it up, stop talking. Okay, I think I need to use uh, you know scissors to actually cut this sometimes quite hard for me to just peel this off. Okay. Alright, so let's open this egg up. Okay, so let me put this aside. A huge pack. And um, this is another set of stickers, looks really good. You can see Giga right here. Uh, other dinosaurs, this one should be the Triceraptor Ghost. Looking really nice, I'm say. And here is the play mat. I think previously um, it actually provided like a, a map. So this is like a different one. And here is the checklist. Let's see whether the checklist is um, the same as the, the, the smaller version. Yeah, it is the same. Cool. So it comes with this huge... Let me just put this at the back. It comes with this huge bag. Not too sure what items are actually inside. Oh, it is already slightly open, so let's just tear this open. Easily done. Let's pour out all the contents. Nice. Okay, it comes with a dice because I think there is like a game for you to actually play, um, you know, with the figures. So it comes with a mini collector's case, so you can basically like put in your, your figures inside like this. Oh, it also comes with 
another figure. <laughs> That's super awesome. And here is the um, Zoom Rider. Oh, okay. This time I've got the Ankylosaurus. Let me just quickly show you guys what are the previous Zoom Riders. You know, we have like T-Rex and stuff like that. This is one example of the previous versions. Let's open this up first. Pretty excited to see what's inside. We've got the um, Baryonyx. Nice. Let's pop this in. Okay, this is basically the Baryonyx. Looking really good. I mean, if you do a comparison with the previous one, you can see the pose, the sculpt is actually different. This one has the mouth closed, whereas Baryonyx Green was open up and um, roaring. Okay. Here's the, the facts about the Baryonyx mechanical arm. I think it is different. If you take a look at this, they are actually different when it comes to the uh, imagery. So that's a very nice touch. But uh, this figure of mine can't really stand as well. Okay, not too sure why. Most of the majority of my figures can't really stand. Okay, uh, I think that's fine. Let's open up another one of these eggs. Hopefully we'll get a cool figure that we don't have. So let's go. Okay, let's pop this open. I'll be keeping a slime in its pack. I think it's really cool. I won't be opening every single one of them for sure. So let's pop open this pack right here. Oh, this time we've got the Therizinosaurus, guys. I'm quite happy with it because this is like one of the new species. So let's pop this in. Therizinosaurus. Wow, this figure is actually pretty big. I mean, if you compare it with the um, Dilophosaurus, this is actually like taller and also longer. So in case that you guys don't know, this is actually a new species uh, in the movie. Nice. Therizinosaurus. Let's take a look at the facts about this. Cooler rating. Wow, that's very, very high. That's like 10, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think it's 9. Yeah, an intelligence of 3. Very cool. There is an Azorus which is known as the Scythe Lizard, if you, you guys do not know. Okay. Oh dear. Can this stand? Oh yes, it can stand. Nice, nice. Very cool. Put this aside. Let's open up another one of this. Okay. Rip this open. Okay, pop this open. Another bag of slime. Another pack right here. Hopefully we can get a different one. I mean, if not, we still have the entire set to open up later on, which is cool. Oh, this time, oh, I thought we got like a, um, you know, metallic version, but this is still a nice one. This is actually a Spinosaurus. Let me see whether I'm able to find our previous Spinosaurus to do a very quick comparison for you guys, okay? Just hang on a minute. Yeah, I found it. So it's basically more or less the same sculpt, but this time I think it has a very nice paint scheme, a brown colored paint scheme, okay? And of course, the killer rating of this should be quite high. Spinosaurus, awesome stuff, okay? Let's move on and take a look at this one right here. Let's open up another one of these eggs before we actually proceed to open up all the other like blind bags. I mean, they're all supposed to be from, you know, the eggs. Okay. Okay, bags of slime right here. Put this away. Let's open this up. It's always really fun to open up and take a look at uh, new figures. Oh, this time we've got the Conotaurus. Nice. So I think right now we have three different color schemes from uh, of the Conotaurus. Oh, some packs actually come with the um, um, checklist. Um, we are still waiting for the Gigar. So this is the new Conotaurus. I don't think it has a scar on the right side. Oh, does it? Um, seems like it. It seems to have the same scar as Conotaurus Toro. I mean, this is the other Conotaurus. Let me show you guys the other one. 
So we have two Kanotaras so far. I mean, from the previous series. This was from series one, and this was from the um, Clash edition. And this is the latest Kanotaras. Should we place them all together? I think so. I think we should do that. Okay. So let me know down below which one do you think is the nicest paint scheme. I kind of like the new one. All right. So I think it's time for us to take a look at all the entire set. Hopefully we have the entire set. I'm not too sure whether we'll be getting the entire set. But it will be nice if we have all the metallic versions. I think that'll be really cool. What is this? Seems like we have the T-Rex. Let's pop it, pop this in. The T-Rex is actually one of the um, nicer scops, if you guys do not know. Okay, let's have a look at this. Beautiful T-Rex with a new paint scheme. Of course, the cooler rating of the T-Rex should be very high. Like this. I mean, if you count this, I think it's at least like 10. Awesome stuff. Put this aside. Similar checklist. Yeah, this figure can definitely stand. Let me fetch the other two T-Rex to do a quick comparison to show you guys today. Um, just give me a second. So these are basically the two previous T-Rex. Um, this is actually from the Clash edition with stripes. And this was from series 1. Okay. Alright. I'll put this right over here. Let's move on to the other figures. Let's choose one of these. Hopefully we can get the uh, metallic version soon. Checklist. Let's put this up. Oh yes, guys. Finally. Limited edition Gigar. Wow. Awesome stuff. Let's do a zoom in. This one, we have to do like a proper review. Let's pop this in. You guys should know that I love metallic paint. I usually apply a lot of metallic paints in my repaints of um, figures. So this is the Gigar. I mean, of course, there's no articulation on the, um, the jaw, but this one looks really nice. Metallic Giga Nostosaurus, limited edition, and it can stand perfectly well. You can see the very nice spine bones, numerous spine bones, and um, of course, the three fingers of the Gigar. And Gigar are supposed to be bigger than T-Rex. Okay, T-Rexes. Let's do a size comparison. You can see the Gigar is actually slightly bigger. In terms of the length, uh, wow, seems to be the T-Rex is longer. But in terms of the height, the Gigar seems to be bigger. Let me put this um, in the middle. Really love this um, Baryonyx, to be honest with you. But too bad mine has some issue standing. I think that's fine. We should be able to fix that quite easily. Let's move on. How about this pack right here? Let's remove the checklist. Let's pour out the contents. Okay, this time we have an Atrociraptor. Let's pop this right in. And this is Atrociraptor Tiger, guys. Tiger. Because they are actually like different types of Atrociraptors in um, the movie. A really beautiful one you can see. Um, I think this is known as tiger because of the stripes on his body and it's orange in color so it resembles a tiger. Beautiful. Let's see the killer rating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight when it comes to killer rating and an intelligence of seven. Not too sure whether it's smarter than the um, uh, blue. We shall see later on. Okay, let's move on. Let's open up this pack right here. I don't think there's a chance for us to like not open any pack. I mean, in case that we already have the complete set. Okay, this checklist seems to be um, harder. Yeah, it's, it's a nice checklist, I must say. Okay, we have got the same Dilophosaurus. Let's see whether this is able to stand better than the uh, previous one so that we can actually use it to display in our shelf. Yeah, this one is much better. Yeah, so we'll definitely be using this to display it on our shelf instead of this one which has some you know, minor issue standing. Let's open this up. The beautiful checklist. Alright, cool guys. We have the normal version of the Gigar. Finally, let's take a look at this. Giganotosaurus, I mean the metallic version and the normal version should have the same killer rating, right? I mean... Yeah, it's the same killer rating. So let's pop this in. The Giga looks so good, I must say. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. 
let's do a comparison. So you can see they are using the exact same sculpt. But I would say that the normal version actually looks more realistic for sure. But of course, this one is like the rarer version. Beautiful Gigar. Let's put this right over here. Yeah, there you go. They are able to stand quite well. Let's open up another one. Let's get the checklist out of the way. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Nice! Metallic Pyro Raptor. Let's take a look at the killer rating first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 as well. Intelligence of 9. Wow, this is one clever dinosaur. Wow, I think this metallic shine is looking super awesome. Okay, very very nice. Let's pop this right in. The rarest of all. This is a beautiful one, I must say. Yeah, no, you point it upwards like this. Awesome looking, guys. Let's do a comparison with the um, metallic Gigar. This is actually bigger. You know, the tail is like so long and so curved. Beautiful stuff. My table is a little bit uneven, so it's really hard for me to um, actually um, put the dinosaurs without them falling over. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's open this up. Okay, what do we have? Parasaurolophus. I think this is the first Parasaurolophus from um, Captive. So it's a nice species to have. Looks really good, I must say. The, t the, the two front legs looks a little bit too tiny for me, for sure. But overall, I think it still looks pretty good. Parasaurola first, killer rating of only 3. <laughs> Understandably so. Okay, it is a herbivore after all. Nice one. Cool color scheme, I'm gonna say. Put this away. I'll, I'll be putting this into an album. After this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys, um, you know, where I'm putting all these figures. Next pack. Let's get this out. Mosasaurus, nice. Okay, this color scheme definitely looks cooler, I must say, I must admit. The previous one is a bit, little bit too blue to my liking. And it seems like the sculpt is also improved. Let me get the, the previous Mosasaurus. Let's do a comparison. Oh, the sculpt is actually the same, but you can see the color scheme, I think this one definitely looks more realistic. It is not um, too saturated in terms of the colors. So I definitely prefer this one. And because of the colors, it also looks like it's, it's much better. I mean, the, um, the eyes are more nicely painted. The teeth seems to be different as well, if you can see. Yeah, definitely an improvement for sure. Yeah, I mean, for the previous version, it's actually like the bite marks, like the scars, which I'm not a, not a huge fan of. So the new version is definitely much more improved for sure. Moving on. Let's see, what do we have right here? Okay, we have a Sticky Mode Lock. I think from the Clash Edition, we also have a Sticky Mode Lock. So this one looks quite similar to the previous one. Okay, beautiful figure. I must say that the Sticky Mode Lock is actually one of the most detailed figure. I mean, if you take a look at the face, it looks very well detailed. You can even see like the scales done very nicely. Let me pick up um, the previous Sticky Mode Lock to do a comparison. Yeah, this is the previous one, which is slightly darker in tone. You can see like more black patterns across the body. Whereas for this, it's, um, it spots a more, it spots a cleaner, Pain scheme. Still a very fantastic figure, I must say. All right, let's take a look at the checklist once again, because I think there are still a couple of species that we are looking forward to get: the metallic Therizinosaurus and also the metallic green Spinosaurus and amber Pyroraptor. I'm not too sure whether we'll be getting all of them, you know, in this set. Hopefully, we do. Let's open this up.
Oh, Conotaurus. I thought we already have the Conotaurus. Okay, I think that's okay. Let's just pop this right in. This is the Conotaurus. Let's do a comparison. Maybe it's a different one. I think it's the same one. It's the same Conotaurus. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I think because we actually got the Conotaurus from one of the X, probably. Alright, let's move on. Hopefully, we can get all the uh, metallic versions. I think that'll be nice. Let's see whether we have missed out any species so far. Uh, I think so far, we have got all the um, um, normal series, except for the uh, Trociraptor Ghost. So we are looking forward to this and also three other metallic versions. So hopefully we can get all of them. Okay. Go check this out. This seems to be let's have a surprise. If there is an Asaurus! Hmm. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I think there's no chance for us to get the entire set. I think that's fine. Let's open this up. Hopefully it's a metallic version. That would be cool. Nah, we didn't get the metallic version again. It's the um, Ankylosaurus. So I think we still need to get plenty of eggs for us to, um, you know, have the entire collection. I think that's fine. Hopefully we can get another metallic figure inside this. Let's have a look. Oops. One of the head came off. Oh, we have the um, Atrociraptor Ghost. That is a relief. At least we get the um, new normal versions completed. Atrociraptor Ghost. I'm really looking forward to the movie to see, you know, how these dinosaurs are in the movie. Are they like, you know, super scheming? Or are they very different from the Velociraptors where they are attack the humans, you know, confront them in a very brutal manner because they are actually known as the, um, uh, yeah, they are known to be more brutal than Velociraptors, which are kind of like more stockish. They will stealth, they will use stealth, and they will stalk on their prey instead. So, our last figure right here. Okay, let me just take another look at um, this set right here, okay? So we are still missing, we have we have collected all the um, normal versions already. We are just missing some of the uh, metallic version like the um, Pyroraptor, Fairies and the Saurus. Yeah, we're just missing this too, I think. Hopefully we can get it right now. I think that is fine because that will give us like a go for us to keep on looking. Alright, I think this time we've got a spinal. Yeah, we don't have the entire set, which is kind of a, 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 a pity, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so this is a Spinosaurus. We have two of them so far, which is okay. So yeah, so this is basically all the figures that we have opened so far. Let's have another close look at all of them. Okay guys, so if you take a look at this, I previously mentioned that we are still lacking this, um, this three right here, but they are actually from different sets. This is actually from the Mega Egg, this is actually from the um, Ultimate Collector Pack, and this is from the Collector Case, so I guess we have to purchase them like separately. Okay, very cool, so let's just do a very quick roundup. We have the Gigar right here, Metallic Gigar, and this Metallic Pyroraptor. Um, the Lophosaurus, a Triceraptor, um, Tiger, Spinosaurus, Sticky Moloch, the normal version of the Gigar, Paris Rolafus, a Triceraptor, Ghost, Conotaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Mosasaurus, Therizinosaurus, and um, and colosaurus, and of course we have the huge baryonyx with the mechanical arm. I think this one looks really really nice. I'm hoping to get the um, other, you know, bigger figures as well. And um, this is the um, Ankylosaurus Zoom Rider. So I'll be placing them into my level three shelves. I'll probably show you guys a video of it. 
Okay, guys, so this is basically how and where I have placed the new minis, okay? So basically together with all the other captive dinosaurs from the previous collection. So the new Gigar is right over here, new Pyro, new Metallic Gigar, new Spino, new T-Rex, Kano, new Baryonyx, Dilophosaurus, um, the new Pyroraptors, you know, Mosasaurus, which is right at the back. So I've basically you know, feel this way is better for us to display, you know, irregardless of the different series, the new Ankylosaurus, Therizinosaurus, and Parasaurolophus. So, according to the species, okay? Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Goodbye.